Welcome to Coop's Ironworks. I'm Rob Cooper. I'm going to show you guys a real quick and brief view overview of the Kaiser Power Rack today. So we're going to go through segments. I'm going to break this up into a few segments. We're going to first start with the benching segment. From there, we'll go to a squatting segment. And then from there, I'll go to the pull-up apparatuses and all the pull-down stuff and how to hook everything up properly and how to detach everything. So first things first, I'll explain the machine really quickly. So follow me over here. First thing I want to show you is the screen right here for controlling the actual apparatus. Very important, so it's got a resistance area and a repetition area. On the back of the machine here, if you come around the outside here and you take a look at the back of the machine, you'll see a positive and a negative button. This controls the apparatus down here to the right, which is a compressor. The compressor actually feeds into the machine and compresses air into the system, which then uses pneumatic air or air pneumatics to pressurize this cable pulley and give you the pressure from zero to 200 pounds of strength. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down how you connect everything in each apparatus, first starting with the bench. So here we're gonna show you how to do a bench and how to set up a bench. Very unique to a lot of systems, but basically what you're doing is you're attaching the pulleys on the side, which are air pneumatics, control that. I did show you a couple things in the last video which are very important, but it's more relative to when you're actually in the mo moment of squatting or benching, and that's what I'm going to show. But first, I'm going to show you how to set up a bench. You're going to come over here, the outside, grab the bench here. The nice thing about the bench, and if you come on in here real quick and look, there's a pin down on the bottom right here where I'm putting my foot. That's going to stick into these holes, and there's going to be different areas to be able to plant the, the, the plate for the pin, uh, or I should say the bench, to the power rack. Set it right directly in the middle. I'm about average there, so again, that, that, that nice pulley system or that nice uh, uh, pin system allows it to center right there. So, what then you're going to do is grab your standard bar. There's a bar right on the rack here. You're going to stick it on the rack. So, right now, you got a regular power rack. You can actually use it, load it up, normally use it like any other power rack, too. The air pneumatics gives it that other pizzazz, that extra spice that's going to be able to take your, your training to another level using pneumatic pressure rather than band pressure or chain pressure. So, what you're going to do, the beauty of this, is normally you're going to lay down on the bench, do a normal bench, not with this machine. Come on over here. What you're going to do is you're going to grab these two apparatuses here. What you're going to want to do is slide them onto your collars, just like this, and go to the other side of the bench. Slide on just like this. You have the two collar apparatus set on, all good to go. Now what you're gonna wanna do is come on back here with me. Look at your screen and make sure your resistance, and I always recommend this, the heavier it is, the harder it is to pull those pulleys up. Make sure your resistance is between 25 and zero pounds. Makes it easier to attach what I'm about to show you right now. So there's no need, we're at a good, set, a good area right now, so I'm gonna walk over at 18 pounds of pressure. I'm gonna look down right here, and I'm gonna grab the air, the cable here, it's got a little clip on the end, and I'm gonna go with the inside of that clamp, clip it in here. Similar to a band, but you don't have to go through all the twisting and turning. Clip it just like this. Normally I would take a collar and slide it on just like that because you, there's no need to use weights. But if you choose, you can take a weight, slide it on, then slide your collar on. I'm gonna put another 25 pound on the other side, and I'm gonna show you how this all works. So now you're all hooked up, you're in proper position for a standard bench. Now, the beauty is something I haven't shown you. Right up above, when you're laying down, there's an actual monitor again that identifies or is exactly like this monitor. It's going to show you your repetitions and it's going to show you your pressure um, as far as pounds. Now, also, if you center down here and take a look, there's a plus and there's a minus side. These pedals can be stepped on while you're lifting, and you can hear the air increases and decreases the air while you're in at break at lay or while you're in middle of set. And that's the beauty of this. You can change your, the level of what you're pressuring and what the pounds that you're actually pushing in force uh, of the air force by pushing the foot pedals here and actually looking above at the pressure right there. You can control it all. So I'm going to show you an example. Get on the bench. Right now, currently, I'm at 38 pounds of pressure. I'm going to pop it up to about 50. There we go, I'm at 50 pounds. So add another 50 pounds plus the 45 on the bar. 
you can equate what you're looking at band pressure. So you're looking at 50 pounds of band pressure on top of what I got on the bar. And again, you don't have to put weights, you can just do the bar. And again, the beauty of this, when you press off, it just it feels unlike anything. It's better than bands. It still makes you, forces you into making sure you can gain stability in the bar, which benefits your bench overall, and it allows for explosion, a maximum explosion, because of the air compression. So down, explode. Down, explode. Down, explode. And then for the bodybuilders, time under tension, you don't feel nothing like this air compression again. Only 50 pounds of pressure right now. Slow down, time of tension, slow up. The beauty is inside of the lift, I can add weight directly, and I feel it getting stronger as I go, and I'm up to 70 pounds right now. And again, I just jumped 20 pounds from that last repetition, and I can drop the weight by hitting the left pedal. Now I'm back down to 50, 49 pounds. I'm gonna do another rep, push, set, and I'm all set. So that's how you do it with the bench. Now I'm gonna show you directly what you're gonna do next to disassemble everything. Welcome back everyone. Now we're gonna disassemble the bench that we just had put together. First things first, you wanna come around, say, just like any other machine, you're gonna take off your plates. I'm not gonna put them on the rack right now, which I want and I expect everybody at Cooch Ironworks to be doing every time they lift. But I'm gonna set it on for time saver and put it on the ground. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna, again, what was the most important thing that I said in the last segment? Making sure your air pressure is not very high. It's gonna make this very difficult. Difficulty equals getting hurt. Getting hurt equals damaging equipment. So the last thing you wanna do is make sure you're putting that, you're pulling this pulley off this with a high tension. You wanna come over here, again, to the rear of the machine, press down, look at your mountain, drop from like the 65, 70 pound area that we were, and we're gonna reduce it into that 25 pound to zero pound range, which is safe for anyone to be able to handle. And there we go, we're down at 25 pounds. I'm gonna walk over to this side, grab the pulley, pop it off that collar, drop it nice and easily, not let go. You're gonna actually slide it down and drop it just like that. Take your collar off. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Not even gonna explain it this time. Drop the collar off, slide it off, just like that. That's how you disassemble this machine. Back to a standard bench right now if you want to use standard weights. Use it as a standard power rack. That's how the air pneumatic system works for the bench. Next I'm going to show you how it's going to work for the squat. Now you got a squat platform. Just like we did before, you want to come over here. Grab your collars. Slide your collars on. Make sure the setting is, once again, below 25 on the pressure gauge. Before grabbing the collar, safety. Pop it onto this collar, walk to the opposite side. And again, everybody, what I want you to do is use collars on the outside. I, for sake of, of time, I'm not. But usually, even when you pop these on, you want to slide a collar on just like a weight. And again, before, like I said, you can add weight to this. We're not going to add weight just to show you how strong this machine is for squatting purposes. That's it. Everything's good to go. Proper positioning. And people, I'm not going to be able to squat appropriately because my knee is sore and it's injured. So I'm just going to go down to show you an example. But again, I'm going to look at the screen here, see if my weights are. Awesome. What I can do, I don't have to go behind the machine. I can add weight by pressing down on the foot pedal. It's going up right now. I'm going to put some real weight on here. I'm gonna go upwards of, and I hear the air compressor going on in the background. Give that extra pressure. Let's put about, let's do 100 pounds. Get a nice, goes up to 200 pounds of pressure. This is 100 pounds, so half the capacity of the machine. And again, 100 pounds of band, pneumatic air band weight. It's completely different. So you're gonna wanna start lighter just to feel how it is. Pop off the bar, step back, cables follow, and the beauty of this is it just incorporates the ability to have the most appropriate explosion. Boom! Oh, just like that. Or a nice smooth. But again, you're getting that band, that, that feel of in, the, 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 the need to actually balance, which is the whole benefit of this exercise. And there's that. Set on your game cups, pop down, you're all done. 
and the beauty of it, in situ, you, you can see, I can stand here, if it's not too much weight, you can step out and add more weight in the middle of your lift as well. So that's the benefit of this. I already showed you disassembly. The next thing we'll do is show you how to use the back apparatus. Welcome back to the network. Again, everyone, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the back apparatuses, as well as some of the jumping apparatuses with the Kaiser pneumatic air resistance power rack. So, you're gonna wanna grab one of our, our uh, Harbinger or whatever belts we got for our dip belts. You wanna place the dip bed on a little differently than you would. Um, there's gonna be a couple ways you can place it, but first for pull-ups, for assisted pull-ups with the air pneumatics, you're gonna wanna place the belt underneath your butt, snugly. So it's under your butt, you're gonna wanna take your clip, clip it as tight as possible to your butt, just like this, so you got a nice tight fit like this. So, I brought a little step-up box or plyo box, got plenty of them here, pull up to the front of the machine. Now this segment's gonna be a little longer because I'm gonna explain how to hook up and how to change the belt for different movements on this, but follow along with me because I'm gonna try to explain it as thorough as possible so that you'll get the idea of how to use this machine the most appropriate way. So, number one, what I'm gonna do is look at these up here. I've got these bands stuffed inside of the machine. I wanna automatically, that one's locked in there, pull these out, those come out. And again, when you're done doing this, I want you to put them, slide them back in, and I'll show you how to do that. So these will be dangling, they'll just dangle just like this. What you're gonna wanna do is take the outside hook, and there's a, if you come closer, there's a little screw here, unscrew it so it's opened all the way up, slide it down onto the air pneumatics, pull the pneumatic up, slide it in, and then I want you to, I'm gonna first, for, for time's sake, I'm not gonna do it now, I'm not gonna slide it all the way up, but I want this locked all the way into place. Same thing with this one, and again, everyone, there's two sides to this. You're gonna be hooking the pneumatic side to the outside, not the inside, and that makes sense because it lines directly up perpendicular to where the, the pulley is down below. So you're gonna to wanna to pull that one down, connect this, tighten it up. So those are all set, good to tighten to go. Now these are under pulley tension. Currently, I'll check the foot pedal, we're only at, I'm gonna give you a little, I'm gonna give you about 20. How about we do, 40 pounds of pressure. So 40 pounds of weight pressure is gonna be taken off my body, similar to an assisted dip machine, but this is a lot different feeling and a lot smoother. So up top here, when you look up and step up, we have these handles. There's a bunch of different positions. I think these can be locked in, there's grooves. So I'm gonna lock into the most forward position, which gives me a semi-quadrant pull-up position. And the nice thing is these handles swivel, both in the same position. Okay, I know I'm in right positioning. I wanna pull these down. Nice and smoothly. Now what you want to do, again, this is very important why the pneumatics need to be below 25. Probably, probably a little lower than 25 even now, but mine isn't. So don't do this, I've just shown you for time's sake. Pressure's at 35 right now. It should be 25 or below to do this. But you're gonna want to come below to your carabiner. Clip one into your carabiner. Grab the other side, pull it down. This one is Shut up, let me open it up. Somebody must have been playing with this one. So this one's good to go. Opened up. Clipped out of my carabiner. I could have just kept it closed, I guess. Okay, so there, you got both pulleys hooked on. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit, just so it's directly underneath me here. Now I got this counter force that's pulling up from the bottom side of your belt, and that's why it's important for it to be on the bottom side, pulling you upwards this way and assisting. That way I'm getting 35 pounds of pressure pulling me up for an assisted pull up. Up, down, nice rotating swivels. If you wanna rotate, it feels really good on the wrists. Get a lot of reps in, and you're all set. Set back down in your plyo box. You're all set just like this. What you can do with the system, step off the rails, come back down here, decrease your weights. So it's safe. If you want an increased weight capacity on your belt, this is how I expect you to do it. Because in this position, you're locked into the machine. You're not going anywhere. The pulleys are gonna follow you. So you'll be able to add weight or reduce weight with the foot pedals. Do not walk to the back of the machine and use that because obviously there's not enough cable left. So that's an assisted pull-up. The next thing I want to show you 
is the detachment of this and then attaching it into an assisted jump or a counterweight for a matador for doing a dip. Hello everybody, for time's sake, we're gonna skip the breakdown of the back, pulling up and pulling down. I'm gonna show you the matador accessory, which is in the back of the machine. Yeah, so it's gonna be on the floor. It pops on and off the machine, just like this. Just like our roll power racks. Very simple slide in the slot. Make sure it falls down in there. You're locked into place. Now the beauty of this, I detach the whole cable system. You've got the pulley down here. I have the pulley currently set at 40 resistance. Again, it's key, 25 or below. I wanna grab, turn around, step onto the machine, drop it down to 25, grab the pulley. I got my regular uh, um, uh, dip belt on, weighted dip belt. Grab the pulley, snip, tap, pop it in. Pop it up here. I got the resistance at what I want. Pop up, 34 pounds of resistance. Now I got a weighted dip. Pop right down, you're all set. You're done, you step forward, increase the weight, pop the weight, 25 pounds, lift, catch, this is an assisted pull up with weight up. Next I'm going to show you how to do it pull up. So all we're going to do, attach this, to the lower pulley, we're going to utilize this pulley here now, so I'm going to grab my pull up. And again, we're going to be assisted up, so we're going to have to adjust the belt to below the butt. We're going to be assisting up. Pop this down just like this. Pull it comes up, comes down. I can grab this. Pop into place. It's pulling my butt up, so I'm vertical. It's out of my back. It's at 24 pounds, which is sufficient for me to assist the dip. There you go. Smooth, air pneumatic, dip assisted, 25 pounds, consistent weight assisted machine. It's nothing like this. Again, to detach, it's 24 pounds below 25. It's safe to pull off. Lock the carabiner, lock over. Do not let this go. Drop it up, all set. Take off the matador. Put it back, and it's all done. The last thing I'm going to show you really quickly, the really neat trick, utilizing the pulleys again, the bottom pulleys. So I'm going to detach, side pulley, key again, slide it down when you're done, get them out of the way to the next lifter. on these machines for zero gravity so their rehab, their rehab a bad knee, you get less weight off, you can use the air to manage it, safer. So hope this have to help everybody. If everybody have, anybody has any questions whatsoever, go to the top front desk in Coops, ask one or any one of us, we all know thoroughly how to use this, it will help you get to the promised land. Thank you.